Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The next league of team of the season is upon us. And guess what? We have leaks. Now we remember what team of the season is coming next, right? It is the Bundesliga Tots. Oh yeah, we voted on this a couple of weeks ago. Seems like it's been a while since we even thought about that. But with the looks of this team in the leaks and those stats on the loading screen, it looks like EA is bringing the juice, especially with some of the players that are getting into this Team of the Season Bundesliga side. Is it going to overshadow Premier League Tots? We need to discuss that in today's video. And also, what to look forward to on a Thursday today related to Bundesliga Team of the Season. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Now, before we talk Bundes Tots, let's go back to yesterday and talk Wednesday Prem Guaranteed Tots Packs. We did get the SBC that we were expecting. We knew it was coming, right? And the price was oh so close to what we predicted. It was an 86 and an 88 rated squad, putting it right in at 160,000 coins to do the Premier League Tots upgrade. And man, I will tell you guys, I've never seen so many Allisons, so many Watkins. Sure, those were to be expected to be the most popular and most packable cards from this SBC. But man, it was tough out there yesterday, especially with this upgrade pack. It seemed like even the players that are like middle value, like Nkunku, Garnacho, we saw Nkunku a little bit, but like Garnacho and some of those cards, we rarely saw them. But even with that, guys, I still think this SBC every single week during the main leagues of the team of the season, it is a must do. It is a must craft with all the fodder that's available right now with all the other SBCs. It is worth your time because even if it's only two weeks out of the six different weeks of team of the seasons that we have with guaranteed tots packs, if you get something good two out of the six weeks, it's worth it, right? And there's great cards that are out. So it's still a must craft for the fun of it, for the, you know, what if situation for it. So yes, of course, I know the pack weight wasn't that good. That's usually how they are. A lot of people were talking about that yesterday, but it's still a must do guys for that Prem Tots upgrade and for the ones going forward, right? If you got a bad one yesterday, like I did, don't let that sway you going forward. I would still try to craft it each and every single week. It is worth the try. Now with that being released, Fodder really exploded. I mean, sure, maybe I, I uh, played this down a little bit. I didn't expect Fodder to go up as much as it did, but let's be honest, that SBC yesterday was so hyped. Take a look at 86s. They were all the way up at 7,000 coins. Now, they're back down a little bit now. 88s were 13K. 89s were all 9,000 coins. They went up a ton. Remember, 88s were seven to 8,000 coins, and 89s were, or sorry, and 87s were 9K yesterday. Now, Fodder, I do believe, is going to dip down today with Division Rivals rewards so if you still have some laying around probably would be a decent time to sell but yeah i guess wednesdays after content now might be the good time to sell fodder with the guaranteed tots packs coming out each and every week of team of the season but guys like fodder exploded yesterday and we did not get as we were kind of mentioning yesterday in the video too we didn't get a tradable team of the week pack re-release so the informs are still crazy crazy high but we'll talk about prem tots cards next because of course so many of us were watching these prices and maybe even you invested in a couple of these and as i look across prices now i think we bought near the right time last night when we were making the video saliba was 520,000 coins he's 585 foden was 2.1 he's 2.2 hyunmin son was in the low 1.1s he's 122 Declan is up. Um, Sokka is up almost 100,000 coins. Palmer is one of the only ones that is down. And, and most of these cards have gone up. Uh, Luis Diaz is 1.2. Wow, that's up for him. Garnacho's up a little bit. And KDB is around the same price. But most of the team of the season cards yesterday ended up rising after the guaranteed. Like I said, it wasn't a crazy rise, but it was a little bit of a nice steady rise. So I think even though we have some potentially rocky waters ahead today with division rivals, like this is the last big supply for the Premier League team in the season cards. It could make some of them drop today. We'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. But I think if you bought yesterday, at least for this next two-day window, you're looking pretty good for that buy time because those cards definitely did rise. Now, other content that we had yesterday, we had a player pick. I'm just going to go straight to Footbin for this. A player pick for the EFL Young Player of the Year Award. Um, it's for after Edwards and Gray. And it's a basically repeatable player pick that you can do 
all three times to get each of these three guys. Um, I don't know if it means something to you. It's only 50,000 coins to do. So you're paying 50k for a 90 rated Todd's card for all three of them. All three of them just look okay. But if it's something that means something to you, go ahead and craft it. Or if you just want to craft an SBC to get something in the club that is a Todd's card, maybe usable for future SBCs, you have it there. Because I know there's a lot of us right now that are still ripping upgrades and have that extra fodder. So that was the SBC content rounded off yesterday. It wasn't that big of a day in terms of SBCs, except for the Premier League Tots upgrade. Now, we were looking for a, um, you know, mixed league team of the season of SBC yesterday, but instead we got an objective, Milinkovic Savage. With triple play style plus, four star, five star, six foot four, midfield beast. He's got aerial, first touch, and intercept. Um, and if you're looking for links in the Saudi league, he's got the Tots plus chemistry and a very, very well-rounded card. And I think it's like eight games, 10 games, play 10 matches, uh, assist five goals. I've already got two sections almost done here from playing a couple of games of rivals. You do have to use two players from the Saudi league in your starting 11 and win seven matches to get that Milinkovic Savage done. So not terrible. It's there. It's decent. That's actually a decently solid card, especially one maybe worth doing if you're going to play some squad battles, fit in to Saudi league players and get some objectives done. Maybe this is one to stash away in the club for later if there's a really good mixed league player from the Saudi league that comes out in a later release of the mixed league of tots so that's kind of a roundup yesterday i want to give you guys a quick update every single week as we go through team of the season on the club as well entering the last day today of prem tots boys we got the big pull i can't believe it actually happened you see the tots counter has gone up from 34 to 45 i packed so much fodder yesterday all my packs were ter terrible until one singular 83 times seven premier league or women's super league pack changed it all and we got hyun min sun the reaction clip is on twitter it was amazing it was fantastic this card is very good when i bought him and tried him before i felt like he was a little bit suspect but i'm starting to get used to his card after five games and he is fantastic so i'm super happy to have him and then i got 13 wins in foot champs i was so close to 14 closest i've ever been um and we did pick up red garnacho and red allison from my 11 rank 5 rewards um but I'll take it. This card seems really, really good. The four-star skills, sorry, the five-star skills and the quick step. I'm really liking the quick step plus on the Scarnacho and uh, his dribbling is really, really good. So I'm enjoying the two new cards in the attack. This is the current squad. The other thing you may have noticed as you're logging into the game today is EA finally did it, man. Oh my gosh, it took them ages to upgrade these tots live cards but havertz is finally a 94 guys this card i just played two games of them after the upgrade he was good before he is unstoppable now as a 94 rated card look at those stats 96 pace 94 passing and dribbling 93 defending 91 physical and still 85 shooting but his finesses are so insane this card is broken like it literally i know rolfo was different levels of like fantasy fc and that card was insane you know a couple of months ago when she first came out as an sbc this havertz like it reminds me of how insane that rolfo was like just takes over the game he can be played anywhere striker midfield left back he is so freaking good so that's the big news that those cards did get upgraded like many of the other ones as well right modric goes to a 95 you actually have the Lucas Vasquez, who's going to a 92. Santos is up. Doku is up. Um, Leia from Manchester City women's team is now a 93. So all of the upgrades were paid out. So I guess Wednesdays are maybe our upgrade days, guys. Um, and as you can see, a lot of the live TOTS cards are maybe even up in value. A few of them are at least, especially the ones that got upgraded. Like Doku is 2.5 mil. Modric is over three. He was 2.9 yesterday. So... The thing that I would say with these live cards now is this is going to bring some hype back around them for investments, people buying them, stuff like that, especially watching the games. Because I feel like personally, I've stopped pay atten paying attention to the lives a little bit just because I feel like the new Todd's cards were just like more hype. Um, I think there's going to be a bit more attention paid to these cards and the games that they maybe play this weekend. The one thing, and maybe you remember it from the Fantasy FC promo, but the one thing to really be careful with with these cards is if somebody's already got upgraded or especially if they've already got upgraded twice, there's no more upgrades left. And sure, their price may have gone up because the card got upgraded and it looks sick and people want to use it. But over time and probably very soon, 
that card is going to drop. So if there are not very many upgrade potentials left for whatever specific card you're looking at, or it doesn't look good for them to get upgrades, be careful holding on to them. Because again, in the end, these are live team of the season cards and all the hype is on the upgrades. Make sure to go to Footbin, check out their tracker. Foot.gg has one as well. The Vasquez is very hype, right? A lot of people are evolving him as am I, but they got two wins. They need four more goals in the next couple of games. Bro could go to a 94 with the Evo. Um, 92 right now, 93 just with the regular upgrade. So that's big, finally, man. I guess we'll look to next Wednesday for the upgrades to come out as well, but it is so great to finally have those upgrades finally released on this game let's talk about the news though let's talk about the leaks guys because we've been trying to pack these prime tots cards for the last almost a week right and we're gonna have new cards coming on the scene this friday and once again these are cards that we voted for we started seeing leaks yesterday we discussed it a little bit we got the full team guys i mean the leakers were starting to post stuff yesterday and then all of a sudden foot sheriff just goes boom i got the whole squad here it is and the first thing that I looked at when I saw the squad is I saw the row of moments cards on the bottom. And I just thought to myself, wow, that is a lot of Tots moments cards. Now, it's not 100% known if this is all in packs or if this is including some of the SBC players. But when I look at the actual team of the season players that are in this list here, it is 15 Tots cards, which is exactly the same size that Premier League team of the season was for the regular team of the season cards. Now, Premier League Tots had four moments items. Obviously, you can tell here there are eight moments items down here in the bottom row. So, I don't know how that's going to look, if they're all going to be in packs or if some of those are going to be SBCs. But when I look at this team, I see a lot of Leverkusen and I also see a lot of moments cards from Bayern, which tells me that from the votes and from who EA picked, a lot of the deserved cards got in. Let's be honest. Like, you know, you have Ta, you have Frimpong, you have Xhaka, Grimaldo, Verts. Boniface, you've got almost the starting 11 of Leverkusen, as they should be in this team of the season. But it's kind of like that lower tier bottom level is like, hey, here's cards that are going to sell packs or players that are, we want to use that are hyped. How is Sancho getting a team of the season, bro? You know, it's kind of the same thing as in Kunku. Those moments cards in the bottom are kind of like the hype players to sell packs. Davies, Adeyemi, Tapsoba. Now, he's deserved, but Ubmakano, Coman, Goretzka, and Marco Royce. And it's that player selection on the moments cards for me. And even like Malin being in the main side, it's, I'm not trying to take away from the main Tots cards here because there are some really, really insane players in there that are going to be hyped and that are going to be juiced. But it feels like EA kind of snuck in those moments cards down there to try to sell some packs and to bring some hype because those are some of the big names that were missing from the vote. Remember when we saw the vote, we were just like, why are there so many Bayern players missing, especially in the defense? Well, we've got Davies, we've got Oob McConnell that have been released now as moments cards. Maybe EA planned on doing that all along. But with these big names being released, are they also going to juice the stats? And when we look at the loading screen, because we also are going to have the women's team, right? When we look at the loading screen, we see two cards here, and it gives us some insight on the stat boosts already. Frimpong is obviously the card on the left. And if you compare Frimpong's stats here with 99 pace, which is the same as the team of the year, but 97 dribbling, that is plus two over his team of the year card. Same thing for Pop. We're guessing this is Pop, a German striker in the front Bundesliga with 97 shooting and 97 physical. That is plus two above both her shooting and physical stats on her team of the year card. And this is kind of some of this thinking is kind of bringing us back to last year too in FIFA 23, where the Bundesliga team of the season was juiced like crazy because Premier League Tots was a little bit underwhelming. I don't think this year we're going to feel that same way because Prem Tots wasn't underwhelming this year. It was really good. The stat boosts were great. The card upgrades, the overalls, the three playstyle pluses on like almost every single player actually if i'm looking at the team here it is three play stop pluses on every player except for the goalkeeper right so um really really insane release of the prem tots this year i think bundesliga the only thing that would make bundesliga kind of eclipse premier league in that sort of thing would be if the stats are even crazier and there's going to be some crazy cards that come out for this regardless and a lot of cards that i'm super excited to try like come on when have I ever used Jaka with a card that was that good? Surely he had the one earlier this year that most of us tried. But, you know, Javi Simons, Openda, Malin, 
even that Jonathan Ta and the Schlatter back. I'm actually genuinely excited to try out some Bundesliga cards, and it's going to be another fun week of Team of the Season action. But I just have to wonder, how much is EA going to juice this because of those names they're throwing in there on the bottom? I'm so curious to see the stats of those cards. So that gets me excited for Bundesliga for sure, uh, to see some of those players being thrown in there. Now, the Bundesliga hype may start today and really quick before we move on to that there still could be a couple more leagues there's been a couple of names floating around on twitter like leroy sane and palacios as maybe sbc leaks but we don't have any like clarification for real on those just yet that's one thing that could come out is some news and information relating to who's going to be the sbc or objective during bundes tots we don't quite have that yet now let's talk about today on thursday how bundesliga team of the season might actually start showing up or somehow begin its way into the game, right? If you go to the seasonal tab, remember last week when the season started, we had the Premier League Lounge. And I can't lie, I have not played a single game of this game mode since last week on Thursday. Maybe you guys have finished it already. It was pretty easy to get done. Decent amount of XP in here and some decent rewards, right? But this is a, like, it's a cup, basically. And the cup mode is out for the entirety of the season. And so is this, this lounge. The Premier League lounge here is out for 35 more days. But I'm just having to wonder if today we're going to see a season six lounge for the Bundesliga. And we're going to have the exact same thing as we did last year, where we had a cup mode with objectives and packs and stuff like that rewards for playing each week with the different main leagues right this is the season six lounge it's 90 overall team with one league and you're starting 11 so you got to use all bundesliga players i'm just wondering today if they drop the objectives for the bundesliga that coincide with that lounge just like they did last week with the Premier League. So that's something to watch out for today because that could be coming out. So maybe get your Bundesliga teams ready. That is why I have invested in a couple of the Matson card. I will say I'm still sussed out by this card, bro. Like I maybe have, I don't know, 10 of them. How many here? 10 ish. I bought for 42,000 coins. You can't find this guy in the market less than 40K because it gets insta sniped in every single open bid, which there are a lot of because this guy's pretty heavily supplied. Every single open bid, like it gets bid up to like 42 or 43,000 coins. So I think there's like, I don't know if it's a bot or somebody's like web app program is bidding on these cards. I don't know. So maybe you steer clear of that one because I mean, I'm even a little worried. There's a little sus activity going on there with that card or something. Just watch your Bundesliga meta cards that are 90 rated today because there could be some movements on the market if that comes out. There was last week. Remember Anthony Robinson from the Premier League side of things? There could be some movement, especially today because not many people have been thinking about the Bundesliga. But today, there might be a lot more people thinking about it if that does come out. Now, let's also talk about Thursday Rivals Rewards. We already kind of mentioned it, right? A lot of you guys maybe played for the rewards in the higher divisions. I am so behind in rivals because we were sweating out our foot champs late last night. I'm probably not going to get the four more wins needed to get the reward upgrade. I'm just going to settle here for the regular rewards here in uh, Division 3. I really wish I could get four more wins, but I ain't got time for that now. Um, yeah, a lot of people were getting in Division 3, 2, and 1 in Elite to try to get those player picks or packs for Premier League Tots today. So there's going to be more red picks or red cards of those Tots given out. And there's probably going to be some more tradable supply too. That's why I was saying if you have the fodder, maybe take the cash because every single week, especially this week, people are going to open their packs today, guys, from rivals. They're not going to save them, right? Because why? Who, unless you're a fan of the Bundesliga and you don't care about Prem anymore, then you're going to save. But most people are going to be opening. And I think a lot of people are going to be taking tradable rewards as well. We see it every week. Fodder drops on Thursdays with rewards. I would expect this week to be no difference so watch out for that and then the other shout is there could be a few drops today on some of these cards i wouldn't expect the drops to be big especially since the cards are already starting to rise unless there's some sort of true panic selling for something some leak or something coming out that creates a lot of panic which i don't really expect seeing you know you could see somebody like declan rice drop 30 or 40 thousand coins or cole palmer drop 20 or 30k that sort of thing maybe saliba goes back to like 550 but i don't think you're going to see saliba back down to like 520k like he was last night 
he might have been one of the best investments from this team of cards, to be completely honest. I just think that some of the supply today will drop a little bit of these cards. It might actually impact more of the moments cards more, like in Cuckoo and Garnacho, because they just seem to be a little bit more packable. So that lower to middle tier, the cheaper cards, maybe get packed a bit more today with Rivals Rewards. That's one thing I would shout out. Maybe one time to get a snipe or something if you want to get a Prem Tots card for your team for the next day or so and uh, want to get a decent price on it. So watch out for that. Other than that, probably going to be a quieter day. Thursdays are usually quieter, but really what today signifies is the last day to grind the upgrade packs, whether the Premier League premiums, right? Maybe you're going 81 plus player picks. Maybe you're still doing like the refresh every single day. I would really, really tell you guys to do this, man. Do the 85 picks, the 84 sevens, and the 83 seven, which actually looks like that's not refreshing today. That's going to be going away for the last time, but make sure you're doing these on the refresh today, guys. It's one last shot at a Premier League team of the season. I'm still going to hammer the premium Premier League upgrades. Um, I have some duplicates right now that I have to craft through. I actually had some decent luck with these yesterday. I won't lie. I actually did. Now, I packed a lot of fodder blues from this, but the fact, the fact that the blues were flowing, like I even got a couple of double walkouts uh, team of the season pulls from this premium Premier League Women's Super League TOTS upgrade pack. Sorry, this is not a TOTS upgrade pack, the regular premium upgrade pack. You know, I think it's worth sending. So I'm going to send some more of these today. We're going to build some more and open them on stream. It'll be another crafting day where I try to forget about gameplay until the weekend a little bit more and try to get some of these packs built because, man, they are fun to open. They're good to rinse in the 81 plus picks. And uh, also, I want to shout this out, too. We were talking about this on the stream yesterday. Um, if you guys aren't following the stream, make sure you drop by twitch.tv slash the foot account. Links down below in the description. Um, actually, one of the cheaper ways to do the craft and to also get golds, rares, and non-rares into your club is to use exchanges. Instead of buying the gold rares, kind of like I've been doing, um, you maybe not are not going to get as many premium upgrades, but if you go and buy 87s, I think it's 86s and 87s and potentially 89s are the best value for coins in here. Like if you just go to the market and pick up 86s today during division rivals rewards or 87s on bid for a really cheap price and put them into this duplicate exchange, you're going to get rares and non rares back, which you can then put those into 81 plus player picks and the premium upgrades. And of course, when you open one of these exchange packs, you obviously have the chance of packing something sick from one of those as well. So that's actually a shout, to be honest, um, if you want to go ahead and grind a little bit of that. And if you're trying to figure out a way to grind the upgrade packs, I just wanted to shout that because it's it's definitely possible. As I'm going to rinse through my economy bowl cards right, right here and build another upgrade pack. This is me getting ahead uh, for this stream today. But that is one thing I did want to shout. Maybe if you're not really interested in crafting an SBC right now, or if you just want to full send it for Prem, you know, today's kind of the last day to do that. So make sure you go ahead and do that to it, to whatever desire you have there. Now, one last shout I'll have is the Evo. Like we've been shouting the same Evo for the last couple of days. I don't know if it's going to come out. See, look at this 43, five. It's, it's like somebody's got a bot on this, bro. And they don't let them go lower than 43, five. I don't care. It's whatever. I got 10, whatever. We'll see if Matson goes up. We'll see if we get that Evo today. If we don't, we don't. And we'll look for an Evo probably with uh, Bundesliga Tots coming tomorrow. I still have the Rice. I still have the Foden. I'm lazy listing those. And I do have Colaire, Matson, and a couple of Sasha Bowies in the 180K range just because this card could go nuclear for the, the Cup because he's really, really rare. So, um, yeah, we'll see how that goes today if we get those objectives. And, uh, yeah, we'll keep trying to pack Premier League Team of the Seasons. Maybe maybe a Saliba, a Palmer, a, a Sun, or a Foden, not a Sun. We already have Sun. Maybe somebody else is uh, destined to join our ultimate team today on this game. So we will be trying that today on stream. So if you want to drop by, that link's down below in a, the description. Again, I'll stop yapping. Have a great Thursday, guys. If you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment below if you have any questions as well. And subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in the stream today. It's been Nathan for the count. Catch you guys there. Peace out.